Well, everybody knows you can't build a house without wood, but the cost of lumber has gone up more than 200% in the last year, adding nearly $36,000 to the average price of a new house in the United States. So what's behind the dramatic spike in prices? On your side's Jocelyn Howard is here to verify. Let's talk lumber. Prices are through the roof. Why are we talking about this? Social media posts are coming out of the woodwork blaming President Joe Biden for the expense. Let's verify whether posts like this one blaming the president for the surge are true or false. Our sources today are the U.S. Census Bureau, the National Association for Home Builders, economist Dr. Blend Solomon, and the Heritage Capital Group. Heritage Capital Group CEO Don Wiggins says this verify is simple. I can't find any reason why this is Joe Biden's fault. Wiggins says it all comes down to supply and demand over the last year, even before President Biden was elected. The lumber supply chain took a hit when mills either temporarily shut down or slowed production, while DIY projects were on the rise. Then the housing market. Dr. Solomon added 2020 brought record low interest rates that created a housing boom, leading to a high demand in lumber. The U.S. Census Bureau shows there was a 37 percent increase in home construction in March 2021 compared to the previous year, all causing prices to steadily build. The National Association of Home Builders says for these reasons, the average price of a new single-family home increased by $36,000. So we can verify posts like this claiming President Biden is to blame for the surge in lumber prices as false. The trend started well before his presidency. Knock on wood, Wiggins predicts we'll eventually see the prices chopped down. The market has a way of correcting itself and this increase, it's called elasticity of demand. The increase in prices is going to cause the demand to go down. With your Verify, I'm Jocelyn Howard.